Smith from Dice of the Round Table with another painting desk update. It's July 2nd, and we got some projects concluded. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and thanks to Justin Borges for a uh, shout out on his video recently. I uh, really appreciate it. And so let's get to the painting desk and then we'll talk about some updates. So first off, the Space Marines, which I think I'm going to call them the Night Falcons, are done. They're based and they're going to be ready to be put to the side. But they are varnished and mounted and based. The basing is black with some grays that I did and I sprinkled some Army Painter um, ash, Battlefield Ash. Over here, we have I got a mystery box of Blood Red Skies, which was a starter set, and then a box of Spitfires and 109s that match the starters. So basically, it's two starters worth of planes. I finally got the decals on these, and these are all finished up. And I really, really like how these turned up. And these were done with the um, what was it called? The um, Air War Luftwaffe. And it was this Vallejo Gray LR, LR LMO2. That was the top. And then the bottom was this light blue LRM78. Uh, if you watch the unboxing on them, the colors are really, like, they don't have colors. It's just codes if you've never looked at those. But I really do like how they turned out. They just had a wash, um, Agrath wash for the shading effect in there. And right now, um, really not decided what I'm gonna work on next. So I had some of these uh, mercenaries from SPQR that I'm starting up. They were spray painted black for a base coat. And I wanted to try out my scale 75 face or skin tones. So the skin is something different for me. It's a variation. And what I started out with is I started with a array Arabic shadow and then I did this Indian shadow so this was the base coat and then a 50 50 water down mix of these two together over that has got me the coloration that you see here uh, I will put a Reichland wash or um, I don't know yet what wash I want to put on top of that uh, it might be a dark Hoth or fire slayer flesh contrast i'm just not sure and then i hit up some spots that i wanted for brown and that was hit up with the chocolate brown vallejo uh, to get me initial i'm thinking about doing three of the horses as maybe a white or black and then three that are browns so gonna be with dabbling with this is some painting What's really taking up some time, I'm going to move over to the other station, is since I do have summer and trying to get something together working out for Dice of the Round Table, um, I am starting to work on creating the some terrain boxes. So it's a box of uh, hills, walls, uh, rocks that you buy a box and you should be good to scatter around a 3 by 3 table. So I've been working on that right now. Let's take a look. So this has been cut out and prepped for sealing. Uh, this is being sealed with a black, um, black, what is it, uh, Maj Paj. So I put black acrylic in here, mix it up, and it gives me a Maj Paj, which ends up looking something like this when it's dry. So it seals the foam very well. So this is uh, right here in pink. That's not sealed yet. That's box four. I have box one. This is box two and then box three. And then I got some variations, some wall rubble, hills. Each has like a big hill in it. This one's got a part of a wall. That's a ruined building. And so I'm going to see how these turn out. That's going to be on the painting table soon. I got one more. Hopefully it'll be a live video of me of what I did to get this out of a square of foam. And probably some other videos showing the process of finishing these up. Otherwise, that's what's on my...
project hobby desk right now. Um, and after those infantry, I'm really torn about what I want to work on. I have some Lord of the Rings orcs that I assembled and they're sitting around. I got some dry fleet that I could work on. Not, not totally sure what I'm going to work on next, but thanks for checking in. This is Matt from Dice Towns. Yeah, this is Matt signing off.